And that's Miko. Why aren't you playing with me? <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm back and look who's talking. <laughs> All right, so today it's all about the blues again. It's the same combination that the other day, but I will put um, the explanation of all the colors later on. But I have added two different colors. And which one? One is the uh, warm red, and the other one is red oxide. Uh, different. So today I'm using Floetrol. And also, I'm using Elmer's uh, school glue. And the proportion and all that, I will put it uh, as well in the explanation or comment down below. So, the way I want to do it, I'm going to start with the white. And this is an old canvas that I have recycled. Okay, so the other day I did, but after I did the blue one, all about the blue, I added the red and I got such a wonderful, really first time, absolutely amazing. <laughs> but I think I put a bit too much of, could it be silicone maybe? And so what happened, they started stretching out, stretching out. And I think I'll put a, I will put a photo at the end about... It was absolutely amazing. First time I was just like, oh, wow, I hope it stays like that. No, nope, it didn't. Never mind. Let's see what happened today. Let's see if I can get the same effect. But, you know, like they say, you get what you get. This is, this is not ex an exact science. Um, some of these girls, they really made it an exact science. And they get every time um, the result they want. And, that, and I think that's wonderful. It gives me hope that one day I can do that too. Uh, in the meantime, like I said, uh, you get what you get and be happy with it. So, Hubby's clock is going to do good. Uh, very happy with that. Um, I will put the end result with the, you know, the numbers and everything and the mechanism and all that as well. And what else I did? Oh yeah, I'm very happy, very, very happy with the clock I did for my girls, my mm, grandchildren, my two granddaughters for their bedroom. So it's a very girly girl, and um, I will show uh, I will show the the video how I did it because it's really nice. It really turned up really nice. I'm very very glad with it, very happy, and so I'm hoping that um, the girls will like it. It has a lot of pink, and then what I did, um, I stick some of the lovely stickers, you know. Um, really nice, really nice. It turned up really nice. I'm happy with the two clocks, Hubby's one and my granddaughter's. So let's see how we go with this one. And then my next project is to finish the clock for my girls. And let's put a bit of red here just for the heck of it. And what else do I have that I haven't used yet? Yeah, let's put a bit of this one as well. Now, the effect that I got the other day was just fantastic. I, I, I still haven't been able to, to recreate that, you know. 
once you get something that you really like and you are oh that's good <laughs> now let's put a bit of drama here a bit of black just for the drama of it okay after the black i'm not going to put um, i don't like to put any white so let's put a bit of this one again okay so i have been watching so many videos and these girls that i'm watching are just amazing just amazing now i won't name them because what i don't want them is to think oh my goodness did you learn that from us and you got that result <laughs> they wouldn't be very happy they wouldn't be very happy with me that's why I, I try not to name them much but i'm watching marvelous girls and boys marvelous boys and girls that are doing absolutely amazing stuff uh, some of them are from holland some of them are from australia um, some of them are from america they all get such a wonderful result really really good really good really good and i'm just hoping that i'm learning from them and you know one day i can do the same i can do i don't know why every time i put something if i put green it turns into lettuce why why is that you know why is that <laughs> I think I got plenty now maybe a bit too much so I'm going to end up with a bit of white and that's that and hope for the best hope for the best okay so let's see oops that's going to be hard okay there we go Oops, that wasn't so good. Oh, that one was even worse. All right, let's see. And leave it a bit for a sec. So I'm going to keep quiet for a second. I can just uh, speed it up for you. to move it really fast because it got me into trouble the other day okay i'm afraid i don't have a glove for this hand but never mind that okay let me do that and i need to learn how to do that you know like how to move the um the weight of the paint and um you know quite Actually, I'm happy with this one, I think, so far. If it doesn't, you know, disappear overnight. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy. I mean, not like, you know, but... Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm not unhappy. 
happy with that. I mean, there is a strange concatenation there. Um, I think the Floyd Troll works for me better. And this Elmer school glue is, um, well, so far it works for me. Um, of course, I don't know. Um, I don't know about uh, later on, you know, like I've done this one with the school glue, but you know, I'll see what the result are later on, uh, how it dries and all that. Um, so, wow, yeah, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. Uh, I didn't need to, I love the lacing in here. I like it. The colors are good together. Um, it's not what I got the other day, basically, but, uh, you know, I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy with this one. It may not go to the scrappers. <laughs> so, we'll see how it dries. We'll see how it, how it dries. Let me rinse my hand. I can leave a little close up. Wow. Surely the paint goes everywhere. Ooh. I need to have a studio. <laughs> One of my worries is when I get the the mobile that it goes on the paint, you know? So sure, yeah. It looks alright. Looks alright. Not unhappy. Colors are good, and yeah, not too bad. I love the lacing there. I really like it. Some nice cells as well.